Hey guys, Benoob over here with another Archblade character review. Now, this is basically a little series where I'm going to do a little introduction, a beginner's guide to each and every character, so hopefully you can get better at using these guys. Now, remember, I'm not the greatest Archblader out there. These are just my two tips on how to use the character to get a better job done. Now, the first one is about Gaspar Lavelfinar. Now, I'm probably butchering the name right out, but it is the dwarf... <laughs> it is actually from the dwarf Generalissimo who foretold his own death. And so, so basically, this is a story of a dwarf who has gone rogue. If you guys want to know the complete lore about this character, it's in the descriptions below. Go ahead, take your time and look at it now to teach you about the character. Now, the character is fairly an interesting character. It's one of the most unique playstyles I've ever seen inside the game. So, first of all, you need to realize that every character's strongest set of moves, besides its ultimate, is going to be the left click. Now, a left click combination is probably the easiest to pull off and the most high damage dealing, but it's not going to save you because after you complete one of your combinations, what's going to happen is that you are going to be vulnerable for a split second and in that split second is when you're going to get destroyed by the other guy because if you get caught up in one combination and you don't have an armor on when I say armor I mean the little blue bar on top of your health which prevents pretty much a lot of damage being done and two now I need to tell you guys to remember this playing with defense is one of the most important things in the game people don't do that often as they should but that's basically what changes the battle between someone who is a complete newbie to the game and uh, more advanced players is timing the defense properly. Now remember the E button is what you need to do to the defense. You can always change the controls later but let's just talk about how it is a default. Now first off when you left click what it does is he punches two times and then goes through a spin which can knock out enemies around him for a while but that's not necessarily his best moves. My favorite thing about this is that you can take this one and it has two special abilities. You should know one is F and the other one is Q. One which is a self-destruct sequence which I rarely use. I probably never use it. I mean, I don't really play with Gaspar that well. And even when I do play with Gaspar, I make sure not to use that attack. What I do is wait for my steps to be full, my RP to charge up to the max and place four landmines on the same spot. Now, you're gonna be thinking, what's the point of placing four landmines on the same spot? Now, landmines are quite easy and it only takes around one RP to cast. It's fairly simple and it does a lot of damage. It does more damage than you expect. If you place two landmines in the same spot, the opponent's armor will completely break. Now, how do you make a person step in landmines? If you're playing the game on the map somewhere like Under Siege, what you basically do is there comes a point when they are outnumber you and you have to fall back into a certain position. Now, what I do in Under Siege is just place landmines around the base near the entrance that they have to cross that in order for them to enter. But the best place that I've ever placed landmines is in any place which has a teleportation pot. Now, when you teleport, let's take Naga's pit for example. When you teleport from the bottom level to the top level, they have no idea what's there in the top level. So what you can do is place four bombs or five. It depends on how careful or how much luck you're taking into consideration. If you place five bombs, bombs on top of each other, now this is the highest amount you can put because your RP has only five bars. The opponent will get an instant death. As soon as it hits, he will die. He does not see that coming. There is no way to avoid it, so if he sees it, if he goes into the teleportation portal, as soon as he comes out the other side, he's dead. Now, when you're playing, I mean, you're supposed to be able to, you know, get away from this, so what you can, you can do is use the teleportation portals as less as you possibly can when you see a gas bar in the game, because that's what they do. They go to appearing spots and they just mash those like it's a complete festival over there. And it's brilliant. I mean, people might say that this is OP, but this is actually not because some people have great abilities. It's just that depending on the way you use it, 
it shows the level of strength you have in your character and the amount of control you have over it. So the game is fairly balanced, at least for now it is. I'm not sure what's going to happen later on. So, and the other thing is that it's mobility attack. Mobility is basically how well it can move around. Now, there is another one, there's another character which is exactly like Gaspar and his name is Dick. Yes, go ahead, laugh. And he has, this, they both have the same kind of mobility, except now this one's the when you press the shift, there are a bunch of jetpacks which you know takes him off the ground and lets him fly a bit. Now the problem here is that this Gaspar's flight meter is actually longer than any other one's flying meter. Now if it's Dick, his flight meter, his speed, however, in flight is much faster. It's not much faster, but it's slightly faster, and you can feel it when you're controlling both characters. But this one's meter is much longer. So with that out of the way, there are basically nothing much you need to know. There's ba you can what you can do is there is a knock-up attack. Whenever you use the left click and the right click, you do some sort of new combo that you try to throw the opponent above the air. Other than that, there is nothing much you need to learn about Gaspar besides the fact of him using those landmines properly and his right click, by the way, he's, it's a grenade launcher that has three ammo, so you have to reload fairly regularly and you can hold the right click button down to make sh launch more than one ammo at the same time. Now, when you're holding down the right button, you can see the launchers flashing. If they light up, that means they're ready to go and you can basically shoot all three of them at the same time. So that is it guys, Gaspar is a pretty decent hero, except I, it's not my personal preference, that, that's just me. Tell me how you guys use Gaspar in battle, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you took something away from it, especially that landmine blasting thing which I love and it's an epic way to troll people. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, see you guys next time, always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you play Archblade, if you don't, the link of playing Archblade is in the descriptions below, so go ahead and click that, peace out guys, have a great day.